Be the name of Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. God bless you so much. Um, yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow. Yes. Thank you so much, my friends. I love you so much. So I want to welcome my dear sister and a student, and a student of a overcomers deliverance uh, training school. I want to welcome Dr. Juma to pray for us and share what she has, what God has given her. Sister, Amen. Go ahead. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. Let us pray. Spirit of the living God, we invite your presence on this prayer line, O oh God. We plead the blood of Jesus over this prayer line. Amen. Have your way in this meeting, O oh Lord God, today. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Set free, deliver, heal. Yes. Spiritually and physically, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for your delegated authority. Yes. To cast out demons. For your word says in Luke ten seventeen. Demons are subject to us in your name, Lord. Amen. Therefore, we come once more to witness the enemy's defeat in the spiritual and natural realm. Yes. We reclaim our victory in the name of Jesus. Amen. We bless those that have government over us, be it in the church or in the communities we live in. Yes. Bless the works of Dr. Christine and the Overcomers Deliverance and, and uh, Healing Ministry team yes. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And all those in agreement. Amen. Say amen. 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 Today's scripture is out of Jeremiah 51, 51, and it reads, We are disgraced, for we have been insulted, and shame covers our faces, because foreigners have entered the holy places of the Lord's house. We are disgraced, for we have been insulted, and shame covers our faces, because foreigners have entered the holy places of the Lord's house. Amen. That's the reading from Jeremiah 51 and 51. Yes. My name is Dr. Juma Lindy Masinga. I am a student of deliverance and overcomers at Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministries, and I thank God for being here today. And I thank God for hearing this word today uh, on deliverance prayer from the spirit of shame and disgrace against our family. Amen. I know a thing or two about how the enemy disgraces and shames God's children. In 2005, the second of my three biological children, you see, that was raised in the admonition of the Lord, got in big trouble with the law, and dragged our family and three other families into two years of painful trial. He ended up in prison. I said to you that he was raised in the admonition of the Lord. So this was not a street child, amen? Amen. Around the same time, amen. from 2005 to 2007, around the exact same time, I was placed on an improvement plan at work. And then that turned into a remediation plan within two weeks. Wow. This was on my job. Mm -hmm. I had been on that same job for 12 years doing the same thing and getting raving reviews every year. I had been in ministry for eight years around that time. Scripture says in Psalm 34, 19, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but God, the most high God, and all holy God, delivers us from them all. Amen. Because nothing is too hard for him. Mm -hmm. Not even when man disgraces or shames us. Amen. My family has since learned that. We have been praising God. And we have focused more on him than ever before. So those trials just brought us closer to him. Mm -hmm. And as I have been learning about this in the school of deliverance, about deliverance and healing, that also adds to what our family needs to stay strong in the word, to come together and stand stronger than ever and tell the enemy where to go. Mm -hmm. So I came out today, brothers and sisters, to encourage somebody to let you know that God has heard your cry. God has seen your tears. Deliverance is here today. What Amen. you need is to learn about it, claim it, receive it, walk boldly in it, embrace it, then pass it on to others. That is what Dr. Christine has done for me and my family. Passing Amen. it on to us so that we can pass it on to others and it keeps going. The ripple effect, as you know about it. Amen? Amen. God is we give God all the glory and all the honor for the work that he has done in our family in terms of deliverance, 
Amen. 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 Thank you so much, my sister. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your testimony and your prayers. God bless you and keep you so much. You are a very hardworking student. I love you so much. God will not disgrace you. God will not leave you. God will not let it a shame and disgrace. God is going to wipe away all your tears. You've been crying Amen. enough, but it, it is the time to, to rejoice. Enough is Amen. enough. And now we say now. Thank Amen. you so much, my sister. God bless Thank you. you Lord. I'm going to welcome another sister who joined us. 72 prayer and fasting. And the God has worked a miracle within that period. And she has almost two powerful, powerful testimony. My, I, I have adopted her. She's a lovely daughter. I, her spirit, I love her spirit so much. She's so so teachable and very quick. Anything I told her, she just rushed. I met her when she was in a, in, a, in a pathetic situation. So I told her, because she was deceived and she has planted, she has been planting her seeds in her own soil, in, her own, with, in the satanic bank. So when I told her, I found her like she doesn't have anything. Now I told her, go and plant a seed because you have been planting a lot of money to satanic bank. Now go and plant a seed to our ministry. And they called me back. She rushed there and she planted a seed. Not much, but, but that is what she had. And then God, God has answered her prayer very quickly, very speed. So my sister, my sister Anita, welcome. Thank you very much, Providence. Yes, God has been awesome. I just, I mean, within a, a week of connecting with um, this ministry, God has, um, opened so many doors and truly blessed me. I was um, divorced a couple of years ago and um, uh, staying with a friend. So I went to apply for an apartment and I was a little concerned about it because I didn't have a, you know, certain things that was I, I thought would be required of me. However, when I walked in there after praying with um, Prophet Christine, I walked in, filled out an application and the lease at the same time. They didn't ask for anything else other than my signature. So I thank God for that. Um, also, um, I've been praying for a spouse, and, and God has um, answered that prayer as well. And prayerfully, you know, within the next um, 60 days, you know, I will be um, remarried again. So I, I thank God uh, for that. I thank God for this ministry and for the prophetess to pray. Amen. Amen. So much. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. You see, God is wholesome God. In America, do you get the apartment without like, giving, without paying uh, uh, deposit? Yes. Yes. Deposit. So you get no your deposit was required. No um, background check or anything like that. Just my my filling out the application, the lease, and my signature. Hallelujah. That was it. Amen. So, yes. Amen. Awesome. She got the apartment awesome. without the deposit. Because she didn't have money to pay. Yes? So God of a miracle has just worked a miracle for her to get an apartment. And we thank God for that. Say amen. Periscope. Amen. 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 Say, that's a big testimony. Another testimony that God has already had her prayer. She's going to be remarried again. July, yeah. the wedding is coming up. That is another testimony. Powerful testimony. 72 hours has done so many people... Even my sister, the one who was talking to me, she is, a wedding is soon coming up. And the rest, the rest of the people have, have got testimony. These prayers, when it comes like that, whether you think, uh, it is, it, you, you always I hear what God says. When I call prayer, God has something to help people. People will get their breakthrough. That's why we need, you need to follow, invite your friends. Yours is also coming. Yours is coming still. The Lord is still searching one for you. The 72 hours we prayed, pray and fasting for singles, you are, yours is coming. So we will celebrate. Before the end of this year, many of you will be married. You will have your partners. The wedding will be att attending the weekend, wedding every week, every week. In Jesus' name. Thank you so much. God bless you, my sister. God bless you so much and keep you. You are such a, a blessing to me too. So, welcome to the family of Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry. 
I know my daughter, one of my daughter, uh, Tresha. Tresha, yours is coming too. <laughs> Say a big amen, 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 amen. That's a living testimony. And we thank God for, for, for everything. So um, I'm going to ask Anita to read, to read for us the book of uh, uh, Psalms 74, verse, verse 3. And our title is Prayer to Stop Shame and Disgrace against the family prayer to stop shame and dis disgrace against the family so my sister go ahead and and read for us to the perpetual desolation the enemy has damaged everything in the sanctuary amen the amen. enemy has damaged everything within the sanctuary what is the, the sanctuary? The sanctuary is the temple of God. The sanctuary is the church. So the enemy, the Bible said, turn your footstep towards perpetual rains. The enemy has damaged everything within the sanctuary. You know, the enemy has entered into the churches. Churches, they should be holy of holes. Churches is a place where people run for help. But you see, the enemy has entered there, disgraced the members, disgraced the family. You have seen so many news going on, what is going on in these churches. So we, that's why we pray that it will not be you. Any disgrace, any shame that the enemy is bringing to the family, you know the church is a family. The church is a family whereby you go and get help. Yes. The, and you are, you are a parachical family. So there is a lot of conviction and has, has, has entered the church. So that the enemy that has entered into the sanctuary has come with a plan to destroy the, the sanctuary, to destroy the church, to destroy the minister, to destroy the pastors. Therefore, mm -hmm. I pray that because... Because of this enemy, I pray that the Lord will destroy every power, every power, spirit of personality, preparing evil against the church, against the people of God, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. When these powers enter into to the sanctuary, when these enemies enter into to the sanctuary, so it brings disgrace, it brings shame. You find members of the church like what my sister said, she was a minister in the church, so dedicated, she was doing everything, but the disgrace fall upon her. Her children, her, all children were arrested and thrown in prison. Everything was turned against her. Her job, everything. And she was in the family. She was in the church. So when the enemy has entered into the sanctuary and you don't know how to arrest, it will be very difficult for you. And, and people believe that Jesus Christ has delivered you from all this. Yes, Jesus has delivered you. But why is it on the church? People are going to judge you, give their tithes and offering. Every Sunday they are there, but you find problems are facing them. What is, what, what, why? You must take a step of faith and you have to do something. You have to come against the powers of disgrace and shame. You don't allow these powers to appear to come to you. That's why you have to, to pray against every evil hands prepared, preparing evil against your family, against your church, against your pastor, against anything you do. Let them be weathered and burned to ashes in Jesus' name. You need to pray spiritual warfare like that. You have to change your prayers. You, good prayers... You've been praying in the good, good prayers for a long time. The Bible says the kingdom of God suffered violent and the violent will take it by force. So that's, that's what the message is. That's why you need a deliverant prayer. That's why you need a spiritual warfare prayer. You have to change and turn. That's why you see David was, was God's own ass, heart. And David could pray the very dangerous prayers like that. If you want to win your enemy... 
people, you, people of God, you will see how the enemy has made you to be disgraced and exposed. The enemy has entered in the house of God and taking over. Taking your offering. When you give your offering, you think you are giving to God and you are giving to the enemy. So when you give your, your everything you do, you think you are doing to God and you are doing to the enemy. Because the enemy has entered and the, the pastors, they, they have no prophet who can detect that. They have no, their eyes is blind. They don't know. Witches are in the church. In the church you find witchcraft, really wizards are in the church. Devil worshippers, satanists, they are in the church and nothing, nobody no detected them. Call the fire of God. Change the prayers. Call the fire of God to consume every unclean spirit in the church of God. That will bring disgrace and shame in the family. When the church like this big, big, big judge, you find everything, every sources of things are there. I'm not saying that, it, they are, that, they, that every judge, there is a perfect judge. There is no perfect judge, but according to the word of God, who is going to heaven? Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. People who will go to heaven, they must be holy. They must be holy. Upon Mount Zion, shall, they shall be holy. Holiness. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you, my God. Yes, my sister, go ahead and read for us the book of Lamentations. Lamentations 1, verse 10. Lamentations 1, 10. The adversary has spread out his hand upon all her pleasant things, for she has seen that the heathen entered into her sanctuary, whom thou didst command that thou should not enter into thou congregation. Amen. The adversaries are switched out his hand over all her precious things. For she has seen the nations enter her sanctuary, the ones whom you commanded that they should not enter unto your congregation. You see, there are some people, there are some people who are not allowed to enter into the congregation. One, one day we were in our prayer meeting, and then some people, some wicked and evil people entered there. When they entered, you know, they, they wanted to come and divide and polluted the meeting, to destroy the meeting. And I saw them, they, they were coming. When they come, the Holy Spirit striped them and they had to learn for their life. So the adversaries, adversaries means evil, wicked evil, the devil, Satan has switched out his hand over all the precious things, all good things, to disgrace you, to expose you. You find children turning against their parents, even beating their parents. All you find the, uh, the family, like pastors, being caught abusing children, uh, uh, committing adultery doing wicked things in the, in the, in the church because they have, they have allowed evil powers has entered into the congregation. You allow them. When you allow them, it will pollute you. It will destroy you. Therefore, the Bible is saying, is saying that we have to take a step and fight these people. It is human being. It is not, it's not spirit. When people are, are dividing, they come in and start dividing the church, the, 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 start dividing the congregation. When an, an evil witchcraft who have refused to repent, they want to come and, and destroy the church. Uh, one day a young man called me. He, he, he found us in a, in, a, in a home line. So he was coming to join us. But I saw, her, I saw him in the spirit that he's a cult. He said and he has sent to come and destroy our ministry. When he, when he came like that, we I I just asked the spirit of God to arrest to arrest him. So the spirit of, of God arrested him and they put him sleep. So he was sleep until we finished the meeting. So he didn't do anything, and he never came back. That's how when when an evil co uh, enter into the congregation, it will bring disgrace and shame. You find the pastor doing wrong things. The, the, the pastor, the pastor, because it's, this is an evil, they, you find people, the congregation, even quiet, they, they change. They are doing so evil things and disgrace. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. 
That's why you need even the choir where you are. The choir must be holy and they should pray and fasting so that God can help them. It is, a, it is a, all about prayer and fasting. We don't have any power, but we have been given authority through the grace of God, through the power of the Holy Ghost, that God will help us. So that any evil, any evil person in your congregation, any evil person that is coming to pollute you shall be destroyed in Jesus' name. You shall not be disgraced. Evil has entered into our family and they are bringing shame and disgrace. Praise be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Keep on giving me hearts. Punch more hearts. I know <laughs> it is very difficult, but God is helping us. Shame and disgrace in the family, I destroy them. The family, sometimes they don't know what to do. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Jesus, I thank you and I give you the glory in the name of Jesus. I pray that every strength that has entered into your camp, every strength that has entered into your house, every strength that has entered into your, your, your church, let them catch fire and burn to ashes. Let them burn to ashes. Let them to roast it in Jesus' name. Strength powers that is coming to give you disgrace, to bring disgrace in the family, to disgrace you. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Can you read for us, my sister, Amos 7, verse 9? And the high places of Isaac shall be desolate, and the sanctuary of Israel shall be laid waste, and I will rise against the house of Jeroboam with the sword. Amen. The high places of Isaac will be desolate and the centuries of Israel laid wasted. Then I will raise up at the house of Jeroboam with the sword. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Let not your, your place your, your place be desolate, desolated in the name of Jesus Christ. It is the sanctuary. It's still talking about the house of God. It's talking about your, your family, your house, your, your, your family. Therefore, I pray that God Almighty my God will deliver your family. My God will, bring, will, deliver, will deliver you from shame and disgrace. Any evil, anything that the family have done, so that, 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 that disgrace and shame will appear, let it be destroyed in Jesus' name. And ask God to forgive. This is forgiveness. When, when it reaches this point, you, you ask God to forgive and say, God, forgive us, forgive anything that our family has done, anything that we have done, our ancestors, our fathers done, so that God, you can deliver us from this disaster, from this plague that is coming to our family. So you pray that God will protect your family, will, will forgive you, will forgive your forefathers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, Lord. I pray Every honor, every honor of evil rod, appear and carry your rod in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that the enemy has planned against your life and your family, let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. My God and my Father, I pray that, that every shame and, and disgrace that has been planned by the devil, by, the, by your enemies, let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. You know they are waiting in a certain time. Then they will come and bring a big shame and disgrace. It is very sad. When you find that the, the family who are, used to be very happy living together, now today they are split. They don't live any, anymore. And they are alive. They are not dead. That is shame and disgrace. You loved your family so much. Here is coming that now today they are firing a case of divorce, they separate and they are very violent, they are angry, no forgiveness, they don't want to talk to each other. God has, has a good plan for you. People have mistakes. Nobody is perfect, but repent. Repentance can bring you together again. Forgive each other. Come together and ask, why can't we talk? Why can't we forgive each other? Why is, are we opening all this door? When you are forced, when you are feeling like you want to do something, you feel very, very, very upset. S sit down and talk and ask God to forgive. Unless you are not Christian, all the other partners not a Christian. But if you are a Christian, you go to church. 
Don't let the enemy to take away your marriage. Don't let the enemy to spread you to spread on you. I was dealing with a case. The children called the cops for the family, the, the parents, because the parents were abusing them. And when I was talking with the lady, this lady she was denying, she said, No, the children, they are lying, they are lying. And then it happened because I saw that she's abusing. She, she's a abusing woman. Okay. Now when I, I, when I look at this, I said, sister, the best thing you can do to help yourself, this situation, repent, ask God, because if these things has happened, it is going to be, to bring disgrace and shame in the family. This is your children, who is 17 years, has, has called the cops for you. You are at risk. Repent. She was talking, she was ahead, she could not even let me talk to her. Then I told her, uh, let's pray, but it, is, it was very difficult because the woman was really abused, but she doesn't want to repent and change. She feels that she's perfect, everything it is right. But she ended up being convicted, and, and she was convicted, and, and, and that was the end of our, 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 same, our family. Now the family was disgraced and ex exposed and shamed. Yeah? So it is, it is okay. When something has happened, you have to call each other and repent immediately. Don't let the enemy have access. You know, adversaries, the adverse, adversaries who has come to the family to lay, to, to bring the, the evil in the family. He can use anybody, even your own children. The enemy can use anybody to bring shame and disgrace. Immediately when you see something like that, even in the church, when you see the church, they are fighting, they are fighting the pastors, everything is going, is scattering. Calm down, call prayer and, and fasting. Don't be bitter. When you are uh, upset and frustrated and bitter, that's what, that's what the devil is very happy. That's what the devil is looking. Yes, you can really feel very bitter, but become whole, uh, bitter, holy bitterness. Holy bitterness, not, not satanic bitterness. You can really feel frustrated, but change it to be holy frustration, frustrated. Everything change it to, to positive, from negative to positive. Then you will stop this enemy of shame and disgrace. God is able to deliver you. Hallelujah. I am going to pray. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah, my God, my Father. I want to thank you for so much, God, by the power in the blood of Jesus. I pray that God Almighty, every power assigned to take away your, your garment, to take away your blessing, to take away your blessings, I pray that God Almighty destroy them. The enemy is a liar and is a liar. The garment of your blessing, the blessings that God has given you, now, because he has seen it, he's coming to steal them. He's coming to take them. Let fire and the, and the hand of God to locate them. I pray for the sister right now. That sister who has been given a notice to move, to vacate the place. I pray that that is shame and disgrace. That you will not be, be, be ashamed. You will not be disgraced. In the name of Jesus Christ, I destroy that power. I destroyed them by fire, by thunder in the name of Jesus. I pray that the enemy will not disgrace you. The enemy will not put shame on you. Because the Bible says, who believe in the scripture will never be put to shame. Therefore, every shame and disgrace the enemy is planning against you, I destroy them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, any door the enemy is using, any, anywhere, I close that door in the name of Jesus Christ. I close, I, I, I seal you with the, blood, with the blood of Jesus. I throw a fence of fire around you. That any door, wherever it is. And I want to tell you that don't open the doors. Be teachable. Humble yourself in the name of Jesus. Repent and let God take care of you. I am throwing a wall of fire around you. Around every prayer that you are praying in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I want to thank you. I thank you, God, because you are God. There is no one like you, my God, my Father. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. My God and my Father, I pray that God, oh God, give your people revelation that it will put, will, put it, will put the right place at the right time. Give a revelation. Give your people revelation that will put them the right place and the right, the right time. My God, my Father, I pray that you open the ears and the eyes of your people to see. I am praying for someone here. You, the lady. Yes, I'm praying for you that the Lord will open your eyes, your inner eyes to see, and your ears to hear the Holy Spirit. You are running too fast. Go slowly. In the name of Jesus. Don't go ahead of God. Just go slowly. The Lord is he has hard, but if you rush like that, you will be disgraced and ashamed. But I pray that let the masses of God fall upon you. In the name of Jesus. Masses of God will come upon you. In the name of Jesus. I, I, I pray that God will touch you and open your eyes to see. Clear eyes to see in Jesus' name. Anyone here in prayer line, prayer conference, and the periscope, don't be discouraged. Don't be frustrated. Your time is coming. Maybe you are trusting something and you have seen 72 hours is gone and you, are, it has, you have not got it. It has not come. I'm telling you that even if you were not on 72 hours prayer, your time is coming. You are, you, God is preparing special blessings for you which will shock your neighbor, even your friends. Just don't rush. Just be patient and wait upon the Lord. My sister, I am praying for you that God will see you through. It's not, you are not going to be disgraced. You are not going to be disgraced. You are not going to, to be shamed. The scripture says, take that scripture, Romans 10, verse 11. Claim that scripture. Say, the scripture says, who believe in the scripture will never be put to your shame. Never, you will never be put to, to a shame. I am refusing. I am refusing in the name of Jesus. Nothing will come to the family to, to put you to shame. This scripture delivered my, me with my children. My son was almost to bring disgrace and shame in my family. But because I believe that scripture, the Lord Spirit gave me long, many, many, many years. I've been staying with that scripture up to now. When I see things are not working, I'm almost going out. I'm also I'm all losing something. I remember that scripture. I said, God, you have said you will never put me to, to a shame. So these things is going to disgrace me. It's going to put shame on me. I am praying that no shame of the devil, no evil that will come and disgrace me and, and, and shame me in Jesus' name. Sometimes you, saw, you see yourself naked in the dream. That is the time you raise up and you pray, you cast that demon, you command them to go back where it come from. Because they, it is a preparing to be disgraced and it will come. I pray that God Almighty will see you through in Jesus' name. Yes, thank you, my dear. Thank you so much. I pray that God will cover you from the power of shame and disgrace. Let the Holy Ghost to fire. Cover you in Jesus' name. There is a song saying, cover me, God, cover me. So that's this song. It's a song that the man was going through so much stuff until God gave him that song. Thank you very much. I want to stop here and pray that God will deliver you from shame and disgrace. You will, shame and disgrace will never locate you. Shame and disgrace will never locate you. It will never locate anyone in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank God that God will help you and cover you in Jesus' name. See you tomorrow, 4 o'clock. We are having prayer meeting uh, today, 4 o'clock. We have tomorrow, 4 o'clock. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we have 8 o'clock. We don't have 4 o'clock. We have 8 o'clock a.m. in the morning. Then we will have prayer. I will talk tomorrow about the prayer. We are going to start Thursday. Thursday we are going to have prayer that we, 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 for the month of June. And tomorrow evening 
Midnight will have prayer to welcome the month of June. So tomorrow, midnight, 12 o'clock, we'll have a short one to welcome the month of June. So the month of June, that first week, we are, we are going to have a very uh, uh, powerful prayer because it's a half here. So we'll go and we'll have prayers. Join me and invite your fellows. If you want to change your prayer life, it, that's how you can do. Invite your fellows and, and let, let's pray. It's all about prayer. Jesus was praying. Jesus was praying morning, evening. He could run away and hide himself praying. So it, this is the last time, this is the last days we need to pray. We need to pray deliverance prayer will deliver you. Also, if you want to join the, the deliverance training school, you are welcome. And there is a financial planning. We, you can call us and talk to us how you can uh, pay. You can pay the, 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 how you can afford. So we are not facing you that you can pay all a full amount. Because not, not, not everybody have having that amount. So call me. I will help you. You need to go to the class and, and learn about the deliverance. Thank you very much. God bless you. See you tomorrow, 4 o'clock. Remember to go to our website, www.overcomersdhministry.blogspot.ca. Our numbers, you can reach us, 647-608-5207. Also, you can go and call the other number, the prayer line, that, 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 that is a cell phone. The prayer line number is 712-775-7085. Access code is 59511-9. We put ash. So God will help you. We have so much uh, uh, prayer line so and, 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 and the phone line. So you can reach us if you want to get me. If the other line is engaged, still you can, you can call the other one. Also, there's information underneath the videos. When you look at the videos, you click over cameras, you will see the information there. All information are there. So God bless you so much. See you tomorrow, uh, 4 o'clock. Tomorrow we will have two services. One midnight to welcome the month of June. And then another one, 4 o'clock. Invite people, invite your friends. And thank you for joining. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.